So this video is part one of making a DIY uh, magnetic tumbler. This tumbler will be made from an Arduino, some basic electronics, salvage parts, using a bit of 3D printing, and just some leftover scrap wood to put it all together. A magnetic tumbler is simply just uh, a bowl that has a lot of steel pins inside it with some polishing media such as uh, polishing powder or some liquid or something like that and just sits on top of a disc that has magnets embedded into the disc and as they spin it just pulls the pins around and those pins just hit off the pieces that are inside the drum and end up polishing the actual pieces. So the first step was selecting the actual components I need for the project. I had three different motors. I had a washing machine motor, a 12 volt starter motor and a 120 watt blower motor. Now I didn't have any data sheets or anything for these actual motors so the washing machine motor was probably between two to three hundred watts. Uh, the blower motor I knew was 120 watts and the starter motor I couldn't find any information on that. I first looked at the blower motor uh, which is a 220 volt motor uh, after taking out the housing and actually wiring it up to uh, 240 volts I could definitely see that this was not going to work as it was rotating at crazy high RPMs and after even a few minutes of uh, runtime it would actually start smoking. I then had a look at the permanent magnet DC 12 volt starter motor. At 12 volts this also rotated at very high RPMs and I'm ideally looking for 1200 to 2000 RPM. The washing machine motor is there for the best candidate because as a universal motor I can run it off uh, different voltages to get different speeds and different torque parameters so that's the motor I'm actually going to continue with in this project. So the next step was choosing the right power supply for this motor. Uh, I originally tried different power supplies varying from 9 volts up to about 18 volts using drill batteries and so on. And I also found that it drew a large current between 3 to 4 amps under stall so we need a power supply that's capable of delivering high amperage uh, over continuous operation I went through a few different power supplies and I found that an Xbox 360 power brick can do 12 volts at very high current and also has a 5 volt rail which can be used to power the Arduino circuit which will be used to control the logic of the actual magnetic tumbler. So the next big component is the Arduino circuit itself. So for that I'll be using the Arduino Nano, I'll be using a simple buzzer, a potentiometer, an I2C LCD display. Uh, two limit switches uh, to act as push buttons uh, and just a simple RGB LED and also a relay module to actually turn on the motor. So now that we have most of our components together it's time to actually start building the magnetic polisher. So for the Arduino code I'm going to use the finite state machine logic which means the barrel polisher can only be in one state at a time. Those states are idle, armed, running, paused or finished. These states will only be actually changed due to an action like a button press or a timer. So after a good bit of trial and error with the Arduino coding, I finally settled on something that seemed to work. I was able to set the time using a potentiometer and then start the actual relay using another switch where an LED indicated that the motor was running and once the timer finished, the buzzer would sound and the relay would switch off and it would return back to its idle state. I then went about soldering all these components onto a perf board and did a terrible job at it but it seems to work so it will do for now. Since I was using limit switches as push buttons I designed a little housing for this limit switch to act as a push button and then I 3D printed it. It seemed to work okay so I'm going to stick with this design. I decided that the best way to hold the magnets would be to make a 3D printed disc where I could just glue the magnets in. Uh, and this is a fast way of prototyping different orientations and different uh, quantities of magnets. So I finally settled on uh, this design and I know what it kind of looks like but it's not meant to. I figured the best way to actually attach this disc to the washing machine motor was just using four M8 bolts that I could tighten independently just so I could try center the disc as best as possible and uh, help with the balancing. So the magnets were mainly just held in by friction, but just as an extra layer of security, I super glued the magnets to the actual 3D housing and I used a bit of epoxy just to fill any of the voids between the magnets and the 3D print. So now that I have some circuit roughly thrown together and a magnetic disc with some actual magnets, I'm just going to put together a rough housing made of some scrap wood just to actually test if this magnetic tumbler does actually work. Just 
two kind of supporting beams going across and it's just it's just screwed in. So at first the bucket was just suspended from the wood over the actual magnetic disc. I then found a sheet of polycarbonate that was able to place between the disc and the MDF so the bucket could sit on top of it. This is still all just a temporary design just to see if this actual barrel polisher will work. So the water is quite dark because I have some polishing powder and there's bits of dirt in there already but the pins seem to be rotating inside the bucket so let's just put in a few pieces and see if we can actually get some decent results from it. So these are the pieces of silver I'm going to be putting into the barrel polisher. These pieces of silver are kind of slightly damaged with minor scratches, there's some layers of dirt, there's also bits of uh, white oxide from the pickle acid and a few other bits of debris that we can hopefully polish out. So after about 30 minutes inside the barrel polisher, you can see they came out much cleaner and are actually quite polished. The white oxide layer has been mostly removed, the debris and the fire stain from the other pieces has also been removed, and all three pieces have a matte kind of uh, polish. So I can definitely say that this barrel polisher has potential. This was just my first prototype, and in the next video I will make a more secure housing and do a bit more 3D printing. I'll probably resolder all the components as it's quite messy at the moment. As a proof of concept, this was definitely successful.